Close your eyes and watch your breath. Watch it carefully, all the way in, all the way out. Give it your full attention. The more true you are to the breath, then the more true it's going to be for you. In other words, you're not just going through the motions. You're trying to notice, what is this breath that you've got here? Where does it start? Where does it end? How does it relate to the other energies in the body? There's a lot to explore here, a lot to learn. It's not just in and out. The better you get to know the breath, and the better you get to know your mind, because they're very closely related. As John Lee says, the breath is like a mirror, a mirror for the mind. If the mirror is distorted, you're going to get distorted images of the mind. You won't understand yourself clearly. When the breath is smooth, even, and you're fully aware, then you can turn around and be fully aware of the mind. Because that's where the problems are. We suffer from things we do out of ignorance. But we can end our ignorance. We all want happiness, we all want well-being, we all want goodness of one kind or another. The question is, why is it that we end up with results that are not in line with what we want? Well, it's because of our ignorance about what we're doing. So the more fully present you are to the breath, and the more fully present the mind will be to itself. You can see all the little committee members, you can listen to all their voices. The ones that were hidden by the background noise of other voices suddenly become more and more clear. You can be begin to see why you do things, what your anticipation is, what your intention is, what it is that makes you decide to do one thing rather than another. All, all this becomes a lot more clear as you get more and more fully present to the breath. So give yourself totally to this, and it will reward you with knowledge of yourself, the kind of knowledge that you can do something with, the knowledge that makes a difference, because it applies to what your intentions are, what your actions are, and how you can use your intentions and your actions to get the results that would be satisfying.